Okay, the window actually just blew open. It is crazy. Look, all down the walls, leaking. The trees are nearly blowing down. Get inside. Whoa. It's getting very powerful now. I have never seen anything like this before. This is insane. The Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico that just dealt with Tropical Storm Gamma will now, it looks like, be very close to or dealing with a category perhaps three or four storm. But it is in the Caribbean Sea and it does now have maximum sustained winds of 100 miles per hour. What's that? What's that? They're moving all the furniture out of the garden. Yeah, they're clearing out the garden now. So, yeah, I was going to go and do that, but they've beat us to her. Come and say, what's going on? <laughs> say hola. hola. Can you believe what's happening? It's because the storm's going to come later on today. We're going to get prepared for this. Today's like prepping for the hurricane. Good morning, Fizz fam. Say good morning. It's about 10.30 here in Mexico and as you can probably guess we are preparing for hurricane number two. Apparently this one is meant to be way, way more intense. So I thought that was my limit of how much I could cope with with the last hurricane but this one is meant to be way worse. So we're taking it seriously and the whole community, we're getting all prepared. Everybody's like preparing their homes, making them safer and yeah, I do feel quite nervous. I think it was a category one last time. Okay, yeah. This is a category three. Four wow. out of five. Wow. It's classed as um, causes catastrophic destruction. Yeah. So yeah, clearly we have to take this one very seriously, don't we? So you can see there it is. Delta. Oh, I came Delta. Whoops. Oh, <laughs> the internet site. So yeah, if you don't hear from us for a little while, that's probably because the internet cuts out and the electricity, so don't get too worried. How are you feeling about it, Mia? Oh, I feel last time was scary. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was my limit of house like much I could cope I with. I can't, like, I don't even know yeah. what's going on. Yeah. Because with the last one, it started off quite, like, gentle, if you can call it. And then it increased in strength and then it died down. But this one's, when it hits us, it's going to be really, really fast. As you can see, we're moving all the heavy chairs outside. We're going to go out and start getting all the things. And should we go and show them the damage of the last one? Because we haven't shown you yet what happened last time afterwards. So one of the major things was that loads of trees actually fell down. So I hope there are any trees left after this. There is a stump left over there and I think a tree broke over there and it's hanging over, wasn't it? Yeah, from the neighbor's garden. And as you can see, the pool is really dirty. The pool cleaner did come today and he cleaned it. And um, I don't know I why he did like, that. Yeah. I don't think he knows. It's kind of a waste of his time because it's now just gonna get even more destroyed. I know. I didn't want to be rude and say, um, I don't think you need to clean it. The hurricane's coming later today, but um, I, I don't know. Maybe he just wanted to just you know, be helpful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so there's all these plant pots which are probably going to get put out of the way as well because obviously plant pots flying around, they could, you know, could fly into the windows and create a lot of damage. You and Dad helped clean up the garden, didn't yeah. you? With, yeah. Um, you, you were dragging the tree trunks and everything, yeah. weren't you? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Come on, no. You are so cheeky. You are obsessed with... Get out of the pool. Come on. I could make a joke and say, you know, like the state of the garden. This is because we let karma out of our sight for a couple of minutes. This is our bedroom balcony and that is the leftover like roof which went on it. I think we're going to have to take that off as well, aren't we? Yeah. Today, there's a lot of sorting out to do. If any of you are feeling a bit wide right now, I've we do have... Off the side you've got to throw it off, okay. We do have a lot of help and support, don't we, Darren? Yes. This side. It's quite, I will try, but it's quite big. Hello. Well done. Right, well, is that alright? There's no one down there, hopefully. <laughs> right, cool. Yeah, you know it's definitely more serious this time when all the locals are actually yeah. saying get everything indoors. Yeah, because last time they just said, oh, you might want to keep an eye on the weather a storm or hurricane might be coming but no yeah. one was that worried but this time everyone is proper prepping yeah. aren't they yeah apparently the last time there's been one this powerful was 2005 so yeah that shows that it's quite rare and very yeah. powerful just gone 4 p.m now guys and the weather has started to turn you can see it's getting a bit more dull out there so i think the hurricane is still several hours away but the girls are doing the most important task aren't you yes and that is of course making brownies and as you can see karma has really Checking that the powder, the mix is all delicious. Who's gonna eat more brownie, you or Dad? Dad. <laughs> I thought you were gonna what? say Karma for a 
for a moment. <laughs> the brownies are now in the oven and what's really nice is kind of giving us a bit of a comforting feeling before the storm. It's like the calm before the storm because we can smell the brownies cooking. The reason why I'm in my room right now is because I need to sort this stuff out and as you can see, I've got all of these clothes here and it's because the family of this book, we were actually scheduled to have a photo shoot tomorrow, which I organized. Um, but obviously I had to contact the photographer and let them know that obviously we can't do it because you know, the hurricane. So we've rescheduled it for another day. So we're still gonna have the photo shoot, but we need to protect the clothes because it could get really wet in here and they could all get destroyed. So we're gonna take these downstairs and put them in a safe wardrobe in a safer room because this room has a lot of windows. And then I'm thinking also I'm gonna put all of my other clothes and like my belongings, like my makeup and stuff like that in a suitcase. So then it's waterproof and it's just not gonna get damaged because it's better to be safe than sorry, isn't it guys? <laughs> so here we have our freshly made brownie. Let me feel how you moist and spongy it is. <laughs> I'm not even joking, I literally am crying inside. I am so gutted. Thanks for the effort, but thanks a lot for putting all the oil in it. I'm crying inside as well. I feel the same way about myself for doing that. I think I give this a one out of ten. I know the moment when it happened as well. I know when it happened, but I'm really regretting it. It's so gross and it could have been so good. Don't know what I was thinking. Why did I think half a cup of oil of coconut oil would be okay when the bag is in a quarter? I'm not gonna be too ashamed to admit this, but I actually quite like it. Is that fun, Coco? <laughs> he was crying because he wanted to go in there. He was like, eh. <laughs> I know, he's been great, but he's really trying to show off now. <laughs> it's bedtime now though. Gotta make sure you get lots of sleep in before the big windy storm later. We're trying to explain to Karma that it's coming later because I always think it's good for children to know what's coming up, especially if it's something like this, especially if it feels intense and there's a lot of adrenaline because she'll pick up on it really easily. Do you feel all right about it? Do you feel um, I kind of feel like excited for it. Yeah? Yeah, I'm yeah? excited. Okay. But if you ever do feel a little bit like you are getting worried, you can just check in with me and dad. It's honestly fine. Like, you don't have to put a brave face on because I don't like consciously feel scared, but I do feel nervous. And because the uncertainty of it, that, that does make me feel a little bit, you know, nervous. But I don't feel like we're gonna be in danger, but I do know that it's a serious thing. Because we have asked a few people who live around here and they've lived here their whole life and they don't seem that phased by it, do they? But, you know. So all the kids are asleep finally. As you can see, they're all asleep on our big bed. They're crushed out. They look really content and happy. Just a little, did a little check on them. Karma and Kara were all yeah, I know. I know, it was so cute, wasn't it, oh. Biz Farm? And um, you're geeking up on the storm again, yeah? I am, basically. It, it was so crazy, yeah. It's now quarter past nine, guys, and it's saying like the absolute, like, proper center of the hurricane is going to be here at between 1 and 2 a.m. I'm just like, it's so close, but yet currently the wind speed outside is three miles an hour, but yet the hurricane is over 150 miles an hour. Wow. It's like almost classified as a category five now which is the What's most this? powerful well i've got the infrared view going on so like obviously you can use absolutely gigantic compared wow. to this part of mexico what we are it's still predicted that it's going to be category four when it hits at the moment but we're like directly in the line of it yeah. Georgie, so hurricane delta extremely dangerous category four hurricane delta heading toward the northeastern coast of the yucatan peninsula expected to bring a life-threatening storm surge and extreme winds they have to word it like that. I mean, just in case like, someone's like, people I might don't go know. to the I pub. I really want to see my girlfriend tonight. You know, I don't know. Like... Well, you run out of nachos and you want to go to the shop because I seriously. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm going to do that. Don't worry. I'm not going to like jump in the swimming pool again. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not responsible behaviour. <laughs> But like getting, some, getting nachos right now would be amazing. Well, some people might drink and get a bit drunk, or some people are just really naive. I hope everyone yeah, stays yeah. really safe during this, by the way. And then some of my friends who, because a lot of our friends travel and live all over the world, one of my friends who lives in the Philippines, she said that some of her friends who live in this area, they've evacuated from their homes. So, 
you know, I was a little bit like, oh no, have you made the right decision? But we have got good advice and people have said it. they would stay in this house with their family if they were us. And because we've got the basement, you know, it was super cool. Don't worry, it's really calm out here, by the way. Like, we, we would not come out here That's right before. That's what I'm saying, though. It's like so still. Isn't calm it? before the storm. Yeah, definitely. Look, like, the trees, still, everything. More still than it usually is. I really hope the lighting is okay. Yeah. Uh, Trying to you, vlog. You, you, oh, can normally, you can normally see all the stars though, and there's loads of cloud cover, so. Yeah. There's something different. All calm. It feels nice that we can just be out here at the moment, doesn't it? Just take one last look at the palm tree, and you know. Yeah, it's like, it's really weird vibes right now, guys. Like, when it was the last hurricane a couple of days ago, we didn't get a really advanced warning about it. It was just like, I don't know, an hour beforehand or something like that. Whereas this time, because we've had all this time to prepare for it, and then because it feels so peaceful now, but your mind is telling you, like, there's something to panic the about. The adrenaline is going. Even though, obviously, I don't know, we're not thinking there's just this doesn't make you feel like there's something to panic about, does it? Yeah. I wonder if the animals know. You know, like how cows lay down in fields because they know it's going to rain. Yeah, I think they probably do, yeah, apart I from the toads. They're all getting, yeah, apart from the toads. <laughs> Which you can't hear us because they're shy. Yeah, they all know, apart from the toads. They're obviously shy. We'll get backing because we've got to be careful because we always they're have busy. to. They're busy. They're busy anyway, aren't they? We have to pull that across because if we don't have these clothes, um, scorpions and tarantulas can come in the house. So it's like the rule in our house. Like if someone's left it open, we are annoyed at them. And here is our little kit to take downstairs. Got some bar, some snacks. Karma loves these. Got candles. This is Sienna's little angel. She said she's going to protect us. Those are the matches. There's the matches. We've got nappies, a nappy sack. Oh, Sienna's put a little notebook there. And over here, we've got some spare little clothes for Karen and Karma in case they dirty their clothes. And we've got some towels because it might get wet down there. And I just thought they'd be handy. And I've also put a little mat there as well because <laughs> as it gets. Do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, essentially, yeah. We're not going to be down there for long because it's only going to last a couple of hours, maybe, or... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, um, yeah, guys, we're going to leave the kids upstairs asleep so, you know, they're all safe together. And then once we feel like it's, you know, the, the outer edges of it are hitting the house, then we'll wake them up. And, well, we probably won't have to wake the babies up, but we'll carry the babies down. Yeah, yeah, we're going to have to do that just, yeah, yeah. just to be on the safe side. And then we'll actually you know, go into the bunker. Yeah. This is it, it's now 2.15 a.m. and the rain has now started to pour, so we're on the edge of the storm at the moment. Here is the radar chart on the weather at the moment. So as you can see, the size of this is absolutely gigantic and it's about to hit the coastline where we are. So you can, I mean, this is literally like the size of this whole region of Mexico. And bear in mind, each of these are like towns and cities, so, you can see just how gigantic it is and is now approaching. Look, he thinks so loud to get up. <laughs> Hello, Karma. Good morning. It's still dark outside, Karma, but we've got up. By the way, girls, still sounds really calm outside at the moment, doesn't it? Yeah. Go and have a look at the iPad screen now. Is that it? Yeah, look at the size of it and it's now approaching. So as you can see, like the edge is about to start coming to where we are. <laughs> can you see the size of it? Yeah. So brace for impact, I think, is but, definitely what I needs to be said right now. Like calm, but sort of like a calm, windy. Yeah. Like yeah. very windy. Go no, on. this this is literally just the edge. Oh, Look at calm. Yeah. It's dark outside. I know it's dark outside. You nearly fell off that step, didn't you? Is it dark outside? Yeah. yeah. You got up in the middle of the night because there's now going to be a lot of wind and rain. So much wind and rain that we might go downstairs into the basement, okay? Oh, uh, the Fizz fan are probably wondering where Kara is. Well, we Kara woke up, so we have got him on the sofa with us. Look, he had a little sleep on there with me, didn't you, Coco? He's still asleep. So it was, um, ended up just being me, Sienna, and Calm on the bed where you took the little shrew up. <laughs> <laughs> he kept like waking up sometimes and then like crawling around in my hair. It was so cute. <laughs> but then mum would have to come up and give him milk. 
And then after that, I've been asleep, and then Sienna came up to me and they started tapping me and saying, Mia, is that a hurricane alarm? <laughs> but it's actually just like the frog, I think, outside. Like every the night it goes frog. off. I'm surprised it you've goes, never heard it. It sounds like some sort of like laser alarm. And it goes, mm. <laughs> or something like that. I can't copy it. It is a funny sound. It is a funny sound. That's what it sounds like. Outside is still looking very calm though. There's heavy rain, but the leaves are hardly even moving on the trees yet. You can hear the toads though. little yellow birds. So yeah, it never really got bad guys. Um, it's just been like this. I've been away basically all night. I've been like laying there and dozing, but listening the whole time, I just kind of felt like it was my duty to keep everyone safe. So I wanted to make sure everything was okay. But it's like now, now to like the, I don't know, the peak of what it's been so far. So it's, it's just like how it was the other day though. It's not anything more, you know, severe than what it was the other day. Now, whether that means it's going to continue to get worse, I've got no idea because we saw that it said the winds were coming at 2 a.m. Not knowing anything about hurricanes, assumed that meant that's when like the full on hurricane was going to be, but actually it wasn't. And our internet's down, our electricity is down, so we're back on to the generator power. But yeah, obviously, there's because it's wireless internet here, so there's no internet can be traveling wirelessly in this kind of storm. So we've got no other updates. We don't know whether it's going to carry on or whether, you know, this is just the end of it. And thankfully we missed the brunt of it. I mean, hopefully the whole like community, the rest of the country is okay. Yeah. Like that would be amazing. But look at the sky, it's super gray. Normally when we wake up, it's really sunny and bright. Because last night, I don't know if you know this bit's about, but it was meant to be the brightest that Mars has been for 15 years, so we're going to have to wait another 15 years to see that because we couldn't see it last night because the sky was so cloudy, wasn't it, Koa? Is that right, Dad? Did I get it right? Yeah, Every 15 apparently years. So, yeah, I read it online. Yeah, yeah. So, we couldn't get to see in a telescope at Goodwee, Koa. And if you're wondering where Karma is, 